Good morning and thank you so much for joining us on Local 3 News today. I wanted to start off with a recap of what we got yesterday evening, which was for a lot of our Tennessee communities some rain showers. Now, I'm sorry if you were in Georgia, if you were in Alabama, it just barely kind of clipped over the state line before it faded out. We even had some light rainfall over into Cherokee County in North Carolina, but some of those bigger totals indicated indicated by kind of these areas of green on the map. You can see a few pockets of about an inch to an inch and a half estimated by the radar. Now, if you were in North Chattanooga, the radar estimated about eight tenths of an inch, uh, but just a little bit to the southeast from there as you head to the airport officially we didn't pick up that much. So when we look at our September rainfall, it was helpful, but only four hundredths of an inch went down at level field. So that brings our monthly total to 13 hundredths, but we're over three and a half inches behind for the month. So we certainly could use some more rainfall and we're not looking like many more chances before we get to the end of the month, which is just three days away. So about a 20% chance for a few isolated showers today. These are going to be the most likely for our northern communities to be clipped by a few different waves with some energy coming in from the northwest and then a spotty shower chance on Friday dry on Saturday and then we start October on Sunday and the beginning of October certainly also looking dry now during this same seven day period I do want to show you a look at our muggy meter for today we're going to be in that low end of the humid category and basically staying there through your weekend and then a slight dip into next week back into that comfortable air we will be keeping an eye on maybe potentially a stronger cold front at the end of next week but of course we're not there yet it's still pretty far away we just need to get through the next seven days first. So first thing this morning, I want to make sure that you know this, particularly for our eastern mountain communities. We do have some low level clouds that are, clouds that are draped over those counties, which means if you're in the mountaintops, that can be a little bit of fog for you. So that reduced visibility. Additionally, for the morning time commute, some foggy spots through the Sequatchie Valley down to the Tennessee River. So just mindful of that as you're heading into work, taking the kids to school this morning. Overhead above that layer, we have a few clouds that are passing over. And here's a look at that storm complex that's currently in Kentucky. Now this is going to kind of surge slightly to the southeast. It will be weakening, but that can clip through into our area, bringing a few chances just on and off through the day of a little bit of isolated shower and storm activity. So if I zoom in further to the north, you can kind of pick out I 40 right here. So all that's really still to the north of that. In fact, most of it is still north of the Tennessee border into Kentucky. So as we focus in on our local area, we're still pretty quiet for the next few hours. Once the sun comes up, you're going to have a mostly sunny start to the day, and then we can begin to see a little bit of that clipping into our northern community. So a lot of locations today staying dry, but a few of these isolated showers and storms possible later this morning into midday and then looking at another way potentially coming through during the afternoon hours into the evening time. I, I don't see quite as much as what we had yesterday as that storm really held together well across our area, uh, but certainly any additional rainfall is going to be helpful because we do have that dry soil and it's been really dry pretty much all of September. So notice this is tonight at about 8 p.m. still getting a few of those spots and again, that's mostly our northern tier maybe could get something to the south, but most of our area kind of south of our northern communities, you're going to be dry today with sunshine and just some scattered clouds. Now let's go through the nighttime hours then until tomorrow. So overall, when we look at your Friday, generally mostly sunny skies, we will have a few little spots here and there. That's that 10% chance that I had on there. And then everything really kind of clears out Friday night into Saturday conditions, really looking beautiful for your weekend as we start things up. So temperatures right now heading out the door, 63 in Chattanooga, 61 in Cleveland and 61 in Murphy as we go through the day today for that walk in the park 74 degrees at noon and then 83 at 3 o'clock highs today ranging from about 80 to 85 across our area again a few isolated pockets of a shower additionally today and tomorrow and then dry with a lot of sunshine and warmth Saturday and Sunday as we make our transition from September mm. to October.